Yo, what up, homies? I just wanted to kind of show you how I go about getting vocals onto my tracks. So uh, let's check it out. Okay, so this is a song that I wrote live on stream not too long ago, and I really wanted to see what vocals would sound like on here, you know? And I sing a little bit, but there is also another way that I stumbled upon, and it's actually really awesome. And it is this plugin called Synthesizer V. I just recently got into this, I guess you can call it plugin software, and it's really awesome because as you can see, it is completely MIDI. Like it's, it's MIDI. But the cool thing about this MIDI is if you can see this, you can double click in here and type in words and it'll say the words. I can give you a little snippet of what it sounds like. So I want to give you an example of just how powerful this tool is. So I'm going to go to this part here where she sings about here, which is this, this free me. So I want, instead of it to be free me, I want it to be see me. So I will double click on the MIDI and literally just type in C, click out. And then we will listen to that part again. When I first did that, it blew me away because, you know, this is something that I've wanted. I didn't know what I wanted, but I know I wanted something where I could customize what I wanted it to say in the notes that it sang, right? And I would say that Synth V, Synthesizer V, really nailed it. And one of the main reasons why I say that is because it's, it doesn't take a ton of effort to be able to make it sound really fluid. Um, I think some some key things to think about is like your timing, like the flow. Some singers tend to kind of sing a little bit either behind the beat or in front of the beat, you know what I mean? And so those are some things to keep in mind. And again, that's something that I am working to get better at. I actually started another song that I'm actually having a hard time writing lyrics for. And so, you know, that's why I consulted ChatGPT just to see if I can kind of come up with something off the bat. And it did a pretty decent job. I would say experiment, you know, but if you have lyrics, even better. Or if you have some things that you really want to talk about, try to convey it in the best way that you can, given the parameters of the MIDI that you wrote, you know. Uh, that's kind of what I did for myself. So I wrote the MIDI first, and then I brought it into Synth V, and I started to have to align them here, like I was telling you. And I think the it's this verse here. So this part here. See things in my mind, trying to convince me. It's real. So those are things that those words I just came up with. But some cool tricks with Synth V2 is like, see how this says trying to? Trying to. Con I typed in trying here. And usually you would think, you know, try ing, right? Try ing. Well, you can type in the full word and then just do a plus sign and it'll connect these two as if it's, you know, your, your, uh, those two notes are that one word. And so there's cool little tricks like that. And it'll really, again, these dark lines are, are what it's going to be singing. So like this convince me. You convince me. And if you didn't like that, you could really, again, you can draw it in what you want it to be. convince me and so it's it's powerful very very powerful 
I'm looking forward to more vocal packs. Now, as much as I love this vocalist singer, she is great. She sounds really good. I forget the name. I forget her real name, but this is the Solaria pack or the Solaria pack. But she is a vocal coach and I believe she used to be a Broadway singer. It just sounds really good. I don't know, like I don't completely know the magic behind this, but I know it has to do with the natural things that your mouth does when you're saying a certain word. It's not many of those. And so I can only imagine the, the, the sampling process of this, you know, because for me, it's like, how do you know that don't and let and it and be are all these things? Because you see, they have these, I forget what they called them. Like, I don't know if it's phonemes. It's something like that, but you can see right above B, it says B I Y. And so I think that's what this uses to get it to sound like a singer, because, you know, a singer doesn't, the way that they say it, it's different. And so that's what I've started to realize when I was writing this. This was the second thing that I'd done inside of a Synth V. And there's some things that it can't fully grasp or like do without you thinking of a way to how it sounds, you know, and how it's said, how you want it to be said, rather than how they think it sounds or it should be said. Lying to me. So I think this one I tried to do lying and then the plus sign instead of I just did lying. And so there's some, you'll have to do that sometimes, but I think it's kind of fun. This one too, never. N-E-H, a V-E-R, instead of N-E-V-E-R, never. Never ending. I find it kind of fun because it makes you think about how things are said a little bit more, but it's, it's just a really fun way to add vocals to your track in a fully customized way. Um, the only thing they can't customize, well, kind of, is the vocalist, right? And But you kind of can. Again, they have other packs. Uh, this one was just my favorite out of the ones that they currently offer. And so, again, this is what I've been using. I can kind of show you what the song sounds like on other parts. Here is the second verse. I'll show you that second verse here. So this is my vocal automation for this song. However, there was something that I did want to talk about. So you can see that it's on two lanes. Reason why it's on two lanes is because they have these vocal modes over here. You have clear, soft, airy, power, passionate, solid, and light. And you can actually kind of blend them. They have uh, little sliders that you can use to, <clears throat> as you can see, I kind of moved around here. I wanted a little bit more clear, soft, and airy, and a little bit of light. So I have 25% clear, 55% soft, 100% airy, and then I have 55% light. And again, that is this part here. See things. And so again, you can come in and customize these, and you'll see as you start to customize them, you will see the little waveform glow a little bit. On this part in particular, I used just the default voice. <laughs> Um, I didn't change anything. I should have probably put it on power or something like that, but I really didn't need to. My mind's lying to me. You can change this vibrato, by the way, by the same way, just drawing it in. If you want less vibrato, you can do that. However, they do have a slider to turn down the vibrato if you didn't want to manually do it on all of them. I didn't mind it too much. But that's up to you, you know? Like I said, I would highly recommend that you check it out if you're wanting vocals on your song and you're kind of in, you're stuck in that kind of zone of like, I can't find any samples that'll fit my song, you know? For me, that was particularly different, uh, difficult because, you know, it being metal and stuff like that. And so it helped out a lot. So, I mean, that's basically how I go about doing that, which is really nice. Again, very convenient, a little tedious, but it's worth it, you know? So that's basically it there. 
If you wanted to check out my Patreon, I have some cool things. If you are creating metal music and you need groove packs, or if you need some routing templates, my drum program of choice is Giga Drums, and I have routing templates here if you are interested in that sort of thing. Um, I also do something on my channel that is called Sounds Like, so I'll, I'll try to sound like a specific band, like if I was a member of the band. So far, I have these two in the Patreon. I did a Bad Omen Sound Like, and I did a Linkin Park Sound Like, which those will be in there as well. But so far, we have Seven Dust and Deftones. And I include all the MIDI that I use. Again, I write in completely, I could write completely in MIDI. And so you'll be able to see that all the MIDI's there, but I also exported them out as WAV, as WAV files. So if you just wanted to practice a mixing, then you could do that. But yeah, there's, um, there's also our Discord channel, which is growing all the time. Like it's, it's kind of crazy, but in the Discord channel, you'll find all the other homies, you know, that hang out. Usually when I go live, you know, we'll, we'll get some homies in there. And then at the end of stream, then I will go through what other people have written. And so you could see, I have one coming up and we have some submissions here. And so, you know, if you wanted to join the community, I would highly encourage you to, because we are all about bringing each other up and, you know, trying to help each other. And if you needed some constructive feedback, then, you know, we would be there. If you just wanted us to check it out, then we would jam it. Um, usually when I do community jams, I'll do it live. I usually only do it live on stream. I don't listen to anything until I'm on stream. So then, you know, you can get my actual reaction like right then and there. And then at the end, I'll throw, you know, the VOD into the Discord if you just so happen to not make it that day. But if you have any ideas on other topics that you want me to cover, or there's something that you're struggling on that you think others may be struggling on, if I was to cover it, let me know. But uh, I appreciate you guys so much. And I hope that you guys have a good day and join the Discord. If you get this, join the Discord and show me how you've used it. We've already have a few people in the Discord that's used it, and I can't wait to check it out. And so let me know how it goes, dudes. We'll see you guys next time, okay? Have a good one.